Well everyone, it's time for us to go and do a quick little comparison between the iPhone 13 mini and the iPhone 14 Pro and see which specific phone you should go and buy in 2023. Now, both these phones are very much different for the most part, but I will tell you, they're both very strong phones still. Whichever one you buy, you can't make a wrong decision here. If you want to pick up either one of these, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these phones, the iPhone 13 mini, which came out in 2021, has that 5.4 inch Super Retina XR OLED display. And it is a pretty decent panel. You know, it's definitely not the best panel of all time, but it's a good one. It's a fairly small phone. You have a notch in the front as well. And it's a good phone. You know, I like it. Like I said, there's not a lot to complain about here, but I definitely do think that it's a very solid phone for the most part. And it still looks very, very good for sure. Now on the front of the iPhone 14 Pro, you have a 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display, and it's a very good panel. It's probably one of the best panels on any iPhone right now. Fairly high resolution. It's an always on display as well. You're getting that dynamic island and a ProMotion display on the iPhone 14 Pro. That is some really cool stuff to have on that type of device. And I, for one, I'm a big, big fan of that type of display. On the bottom, you're getting lightning ports on both flat sides, but the build quality on the 14 Pro is definitely noticeably better than the iPhone 13 mini. And on the back, you're getting a standard glass back on the 13 mini. And the iPhone 14 Pro, you're getting a frosted glass back. So that is kind of a big thing to keep in mind here too. You are getting, once again, an overall better build quality on the iPhone 14 Pro than on the iPhone 13 mini. Now, triple camera setup on the 14 Pro, dual camera setup on the iPhone 13 mini, and you're getting IP certification on both, wireless charging on both, max safe capability on both as well. But I would definitely say that the iPhone 14 Pro is probably getting or giving you the better build quality, better everything than the iPhone 13 mini, as far as I can tell. Now, on top of that, in terms of camera quality, you are getting, you know, an and you're getting an additional telephone photo lens on the 14 Pro, giving it a triple camera setup over the 13 Mini's wide and ultra wide lens of a dual camera setup. And things are, you know, there's a lot of overlap here. There's 4K at 60 on the back and the front of both of these. There's still cinematic mode on both. There's portrait mode and a lot of other modes between both as well. But I would probably say that the iPhone 14 Pro is probably going to be giving you the overall better performance in every single way from the camera standpoint than the iPhone 13 Mini. The 13 Mini's camera though is still pretty good for its size. But once again, you are 100% getting the way better camera sensor on the iPhone 14 Pro than on the iPhone 13 mini for sure. Now, on top of that, the software longevity, you're pretty much going to be getting the longer lasting phone, once again, as far as I can tell, on the iPhone 14 Pro than on the iPhone 13 mini. And once again, we've seen this time and time again, every time you're basically going to hang out or use a phone like the 14 Pro, it's definitely going to be the better one in every single area. And within that phone, it is what it is. It's definitely going to be the better one. And the 14 Pro is definitely going to be the one that's a longer lasting. The 13 mini in terms of performance has that Apple A15 Bionic chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. With the iPhone 14 Pro has that Apple A16 Bionic chip inside of it with six gigabytes of RAM inside. So even from that perspective, you're still getting a better performing phone from the 14 Pro. But what I will tell you is the iPhone 13 mini is still a very fast phone. I have used the iPhone 13 mini quite a bit in my life. And anytime I've done anything with that device, it's given me such a solid experience. And I'm definitely probably a huge fan of the iPhone 13 mini still for its size and everything. But the iPhone 14 Pro is probably the one that's the overall better performing one when it comes down to it. So to kind of sum up this video, what I'll definitely tell you is I definitely do think the iPhone 14 Pro is by far the better phone but it kind of has to be you know it's like a thousand dollar phone right now but the 13 mini is still a very good phone for its price and I'd probably recommend buying that if you're in a on like on a budget or something but the 14 Pro is a very solid phone it's probably the better one for sure so that pretty much covers it up there if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else I love every single one of you guys Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.